transferring a .com domain name to 123reg. Hi there! In this video we are going to talk you through transferring your .com domain name from your current service provider to 123reg. 123reg has a great domain management functionality with a full array of support content to utilize. 123reg makes managing your domains easy. Before you start the transfer to 123reg, there's three things that you need to check in order to ensure the transfer goes smoothly. These items are specific to the .com extension. If you are transferring a domain name with a different extension, then please refer to the Transferring a Domain Name article on the 123reg support site. The first thing that you need to do is to make sure that the domain is showing as unlocked or active. Domain locking adds an extra layer of security to your domain, meaning no changes can be made. You can check if your domain is unlocked by performing a Whois lookup. Just type in Whois lookup into Google search and find an applicable site. This will allow you to perform a lookup to find out the status of your domain name. If the status is showing as active, then your domain is already unlocked and will be available for transfer. If your domain status is showing registrar lock, client update prohibited or transfer prohibited, or if it is in a lock or hold status, then it is locked. You can unlock it by visiting your control panel on your domain provider's site. If you are unable to do this, then please get in contact with your domain provider. Unlocking it means that you are aware that a change is going to take place and you are happy for this to happen. You also need to make sure the admin email address associated with the domain name owner is up to date. To confirm this, you can perform a Whois lookup. As before, find a relevant Whois lookup website on Google search. The current email address will be displayed as either the admin email, admin contact or admin C. If you cannot find this information or you need to update this information, then try using your domain provider's control panel. If you are still unable to obtain this information, then try contacting them. It is important that you don't miss this step out, as it could delay the transfer of your domain or reject the transfer altogether. Lastly, you will require the authorization code or EPP code for your domain name. This is a unique code supplied by your current domain provider. Like 123reg, some domain providers allow you to obtain this code using your control panel. If you are unable to retrieve this code, please contact your domain name provider. Please note that top level domain names which have been purchased within the last 60 days cannot be transferred due to registry restrictions. If you are unsure of when you purchased your domain name, have a look on your control panel on your domain provider's website or perform a Whois lookup. Also note that domains that are due to expire in 7 days cannot be transferred in or out of 123reg.co.uk. This is to avoid losing domain names which may expire during the process. Right, now that is all taken care of, let's learn about transferring in your .com domain name. To begin, go to www.123-reg.co.uk. In this box, type in the domain name you wish to transfer to 123reg and click on this icon. Find your .com domain name on the list and select Transfer. The basket should drop down and tell you that your domain name has been added. Click on the basket and select Checkout. This will bring you through to the next step of the transfer process. Now you need to confirm that you own the domain name you wish to transfer. If you are transferring a domain name on behalf of the owner, please ensure that you have been given full permission to make this change. Once you have permission, tick the box, then click Continue. If you are an existing user, please log in. If you are new to 123reg, you can create an account here by adding your details. If you have created a new account, you will be automatically logged in. You will now be offered the chance to add extra products to your basket. Products such as 123mail, which allows you to create a personalized email address, and Website Builder, a simple web creation tool, help to utilize your domain name's full potential. If you would like to purchase these products, just add them to your basket and click the checkout button. If you do not wish to buy these items right now, just select checkout. But don't worry, if you do change your mind, you can purchase these items at a later date using your 123Edge control panel. Your basket will now be displayed. Please confirm that the contents are correct and select go to checkout. You can now choose a payment option. 
Fill in the required billing information and enter your contact details. Please note, if you have chosen to pay by direct debit, you will need to add your bank details and details for a debit or credit card. This is because an initial payment will need to be taken before the direct debit is set up with your bank. Now click the green Pay By button. The payment will now be complete. So what happens next? The domain admin contact will then receive an email with the instructions to continue the transfer. This is used to either confirm the transfer or cancel it. If you do not receive this email within 48 hours, please use the 123Edge control panel to check the status of your transfer. After the admin contact has authorized the transfer, it is now down to your previous provider to release your domain name. Some providers proactively release domain names as transfer requests come in, but most utilize the auto-approve process, which can take up to seven days to complete. If your transfer seems to be taking longer, please get in contact with your domain provider. Once the transfer is complete, you will be able to begin managing your domain in the 123 Edge control panel. Thanks for watching. If you require further help or assistance, please visit our support site at www.123-reg.co.uk forward slash support.